And we continue tonight with political team coverage. This week, voters and troop ISD rejecting a $22 million bond issue. Yeah, KETK's Rachel Hackbarth is here in the studio right now to explain what's next for the district's three schools. Rachel. Neil and Casey, the last bond that passed for troop ISD was back in 2005. It was for $5.7 million. This time, voters denied the project. The $22.6 million that they hoped to raise would have been used for a new wing of the elementary school that fully connects the building and also a cafeteria expansion so that middle schoolers and high schoolers can eat separately. Some voters and troops say that they understand the intent, but not the timing. It was a good thing that, you know, that it didn't pass. And you know, like we spoke before, you know, dealing with the COVID at this time and uncertainty, I, I was happy for it. But, you know, as a resident of Troop, you know, I want the kids to have what they want also and what they need. If the bond had passed, people in Troop could have seen a property tax increase of about $300 for a home valued at $100,000. People in Deep East Texas attempted to pass a similar bond for Huntington ISD, and that did not pass either. Reporting live in the studio, Rachel Hackbarth, KTK News.